Welcome to another episode of the Art Patient. <laughs> There's a little bee inside that rose. There he is, doing his job. He's going back in. Certainly a lot of pollen in that one for him. Right guys, I trust you all well. You catch me in amongst the roses because the petals are dropping off the early blooms. So, I'm about to collect these petals that are dropping. Like these here, I'm collecting them. Because these petals are full of a chemical called phenolic acid. Phenolic acid is made up of tannins and anthocyanins. These have some really interesting properties that I'm about to take from the petals and put them into a smoothie. So as you can see I'm collecting all the petals that have dropped because we can boost our immunity with rose petals. Yes, you can eat rose petals when they've dropped. We consume them. The darker the colour, the more phenolic acid within it. The darker the colour. So I'm going to leave the yellow ones and just stick. You know, that's not ready to come. I'll just stick to the really, really dark colours because they are far more uh, polyphenic activity. Collecting these up. These were the first of my roses to bloom. Now, of course, I'm going to say this as a caution. The roses only get fed um, scraps. Right. Um, I don't use any chemicals whatsoever on the roses. Um, so you've got to know the source of your flowers before you eat them, of course. You don't want to be putting chemicals in. Like I say, detoxing is getting rid of all those chemicals from within your body so it functions more correctly. Not putting chemicals back in that shouldn't be there.
and smell the essential oils within the rose petals. Look at the colours, amazing aren't they, amazing colours. Welcome to another episode of The Art Patient. Thank you for joining me. Um, as you all know, I've just been in amongst my roses collecting rose petals. Now, rose petals can act as a fantastic antioxidant and anti inflammatory. There's a chemical in the rose petal called uh, phenolic acid polyphenols which include tannin and anthocyanins. Now one of the liquids full of uh, polyphenols, phenolic acid, is red wine. Red wine gives rise to the Mediterranean diet. That's why some doctors will tell you and a lot of uh, health aficionados will tell you to drink a glass uh, the red wine every night will keep you really, really healthy. It's the phenolic acid in the red wine that's protective of the vine. Now, this is exactly the same. What you got with rose petals is exactly the same. The phenolic acid, right, protects the plant. So what works in nature will work within you. Okay? So I'm going to add these rose petals to a green smoothie. One thing I will say, you've got to know the source of your roses, obviously. If you've got somebody spraying all kinds of chemicals on the roses, I don't advise you to do it one bit. Um, I don't spray my roses, and I've been doing this for quite some time. So... Um, while I'm on the subject, a Chinese university did a study on uh, flower petals and uh, came to the conclusion that flower petals, uh, in particular the chemical I've just talked about, uh, phenolic acid, is art protective. So there's one for you. They also linked it with the, the lowering of type 2 diabetes. It was demonstrated by a Chinese university. Okay, now I'm not going to butcher the name of the university, but still it got demonstrated. I've been using uh, rose petals for quite some time now, many years, and they're an excellent source of antioxidants and a protection within your body. Like I say, if it works in nature, it'll work within you. Okay. So for all you art patients out there, that's a lovely thing to know, isn't it? You could, um... Okay, besides that, we have a, a, a source of vitamin C in the rose petals, okay? We've got thiamine, B vitamin, nicomide or niacin, B vitamin. We have pyridoxine, B6. And so we've got quite a few B vitamins happening within the rose petals. 
and we have um, folate, not folic acid, folate, it's far more powerful, okay? So we have a source there of B vitamins that we'll be able to donate and reconvert homocysteine. If you look at the homocysteine video for you, the art patients out there, um, the conversion, the methyl donation, we've got some methyl donation going on. So we'll just spin this up. A few moments later. We've got a colour change as you can see. Oh, you can't see. We've got a colour change. That was a bright green smoothie. And now it's got a slightly red tinge to it as you would imagine. And for nothing, for nothing, right, for the matter of gathering the petals, we boosted the antioxidant value. Okay, we boosted the protection value that this lends to your heart. And don't forget, it was already full of chlorophyll as well. So we've got some powerful things going on there. Yeah. And this one has also got uh, aloe vera in it. Right? Remember me telling you guys about aloe vera be having the ability to heal any digestive disorders? Absolutely. We've got some serious medicine going on here now. Now, the rose petals cost nothing. A glass of wine will cost you. But you're getting exactly the same, exactly the same medicine. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm not going to try because I've been doing it for years. I know how it tastes. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Look out for more videos. Thank you.